What's going on my beautiful bees? I hope you're doing fabulous today. So I thought we would do a video on the mind today. The thoughts, fear, anxiety, because I'm dealing with a lot of, you know, viewers out there, a lot of clients that are going through the mind, the thoughts, and I wanted to try to help you guys get out of the mind and into the present moment. Because really, when we look at fear, when we look at anxiety, we're really looking at not being in the present moment. We're looking at being in the mind. And the mind is simply just this, you know, can be this merry-go-round where it's just the same old thing, This all these thoughts kind of coming in and the mind is not you. We can get, you know, tons of thoughts throughout the day, which is just like clouds passing by and it's our focus. If we choose to focus on a particular dark cloud, fear, anxiety, and we just keep focusing on it, it'll take us. And a lot of times fear is really just focusing on the future, which hasn't happened yet, or the past. And it can send us you know, it can just keep sending us on these thoughts and it can keep building and building and building. So I want to try to help you guys with the anxieties and the fear and what has helped me because I've been stuck in the mind and I've been stuck in, you know, not taking a, <clears throat> staying in the same old job just based on fear, based on thoughts that haven't actually happened and we create these ourselves we don't even realize that a lot of times we're in the way of ourselves from getting better from finding the best health and happiness and <clears throat> what it's really about is changing something in your life today to better yourself for your own health and happiness that's what it's all about it's about just making a change because you'll find with the thoughts in the mind it can keep going around in circles if you continually keep doing the same thing over and over the same thing with our physical body if we keep feeding our bodies the same things and we and we keep getting the same symptoms it's like cause and effect we got to change something so that's what I'm here to do you'll see on a lot of my channel I talk a lot about detoxing I all about bringing lots of raw living food and health to the body because that's the main fuel that's you know gonna waken up our cells and waken up our glands so if you're finding that you know you got a lot of anxiety we really want to focus on first what fuel are you bringing in the body what fuel are you bringing in your cells because we want to start focusing on bringing up the adrenal glands see the adrenal glands they get hit really hard Anytime you're dealing with an emotional situation, it's our flight or fight response. It's responsible for releasing hormones, epinephrine. And, you know, a lot of times fear is there for good reasons too. It'll keep us from doing crazy stuff like going skydiving without a parachute or something. Don't do that. <laughs> So fear is needed in certain times, but if it starts to overtake your life, anxiety starts to, you know, over overpower you in a way that you can't control their thoughts and you can't control your emotions, then we really want to look at first what fuel are you bringing in the body? We need to look at bringing up your adrenal glands. So first thing is getting off the stimulants, getting off you know, the Diet Cokes and the energy drinks, energy drinks, it's almost, uh, you know, it's an illusion because it in one way you think is giving you energy, but it's actually wreaking havoc on the glands on your body. And when we overstimulate the adrenal glands with the coffees and the, you know, the caffeine drinks, it's actually doing the opposite effect. So. I would say first thing is getting off the stimulants and when you feel a low like that, you may have to go on an adrenal gland herbal formula, you know, glandular just to bring up the adrenal glands and you can check out Dr. Morse, you know, his uh, glandular formulas for that. But we really want to focus on what, first of all, what fuel are you bringing in? getting off the stimulants and the acidic foods. So talking about, you know, the high protein diets, such as, you know, your beef, your dairy, 
fast food, junk food, these are all kind of low vibrational foods. So when we're talking about energy, food has energy, food has vibration. So we wanna start bringing in the healthiest foods in your body, why? Because you guys deserve the best foods on the planet. That's right, you deserve it. You deserve to be bringing in lots of health and hydration, alkaline rich foods, and that is going to bring energy and life to your body. If you're feeling low all the time, depressions, anxieties, we really wanna start working at these glands and start waking them up. Start giving your body life that you deserve, energy that you deserve, so that you can feel your best on this planet. Wouldn't that be great? So when we're living in the fears and the anxieties, we're not living in the present moment, we're living in the mind. So I'm there to get, a, get you out of the mind and into the present moment. So how do we do that? First of all, bringing in the energy rich foods and then learning to have some quiet time for yourself, going out in nature, maybe going for a walk, turning off the TV, turning off every, you may have to turn off and tune out of all the things going on around you. There's a lot of going on on this planet, a lot of distractions. Um, but yeah, it's about turning off all these programmings, these programs, television. Sometimes you gotta turn off from listening to other people and that may just be the best thing for you. So it's about tuning into yourself and not ignoring your emotions. Sometimes what can happen is anxieties can come up when we're in uncomfortable environments and situations and that may just be the universe saying, this environment, this situation, these people are not for you. So step out, go out into nature, find yourself, find some quiet time so you can actually hear yourself and not focus on all these distractions and all these thoughts. Whatever you focus on will grow. So if you are getting lots of thoughts coming in your head and lots of people talking in your ear, you can sometimes lose touch of your inner voice. And your inner voice is you know, what's going to get you through this because every one of you guys, every one of you are extremely powerful creators. And you just may have not realized that yet. You may have not realized that you're actually the creator of your own world. And if you've cr created a, yourself into a situation that you don't want, you don't wanna be in, it's too stressful, then there is a way that you can create a better world, a better situation for you. But it is, it does start by making a change, maybe just a small change today, just to step out and, and get yourself into a better, healthier, happier environment. And this could be in all sorts of things, you know, talking about jobs, relationships, um, even, you know, what you're eating. Maybe just making a small change by having some fruit for breakfast. If, unless, <laughs> switch it up a bit, just switch up doing something. And, uh, and you're gonna notice a huge change because what happens is when we get into this mind world, that we can lose ourselves with all these thoughts and the mind can be very habitual and we get into these certain habits and we're, we just, you know, we're on autopilot. We just keep doing the same thing over and over and it's then a definition of insanity. So what we wanna do is we wanna break free of the mind, break free of the thoughts, just simply observe being in the present moment. So just observe and stop desiring. Stop desiring and just almost surrender and just flow, let the ebb and flow of life, just allow the ebb and flow of life to take place. And sometimes when you stop trying to control things or think of things and, and change things and you just let go, you'll notice the anxiety and the fear just disappears because you're now just absorbing into the flow of life, the energy of life, and just allowing the universe to take care of everything. We also wanna look at aligning yourself with your true purpose. And sometimes uncomfortable situations, anxieties can take place when you're not aligning yourself with your true feelings and your true purpose. So it's about listening to that inner voice and not ignoring it anymore. And uh, that is a way that's gonna help you break free. So again, it's, a, it's changing something in your life, focusing on what it is that, that you, you know, it's maybe making you unhappy, giving you anxiety, and then 
tuning into that, focusing on that, which can be hard. It can be hard to turn the light on yourself and say, what is it that I need to do in my life that's not working? How do I improve this? And then making a small change, small changes to work towards what it is that you want to see in your life. And it all starts with you. It all starts with you making a small change and getting out of things that have happened in the past that are no longer serving you. You can't change that anyways. And you can't control what's going to happen in the future. So you may as well not even worry about it. So you may as well just live in this present moment, which is now out of the mind and into this reality, which is the time we have now. So it's all about really just surrendering, allowing things just to flow and going with the ebb and flow of life, just letting things be, just letting things flow as they should and surrendering and saying, I can't control, who cares, you know, what the, the past is the past, it'll be what it'll be and you can't see what's gonna happen in the future. So you may as well just control, do what you can today and make a change today because what you do today is, is the future. It's going to reflect in the future. So whatever you start doing today will make a difference for your life. So hope that helps you guys out. It's really about getting out of the thoughts, getting out of the mind, becoming in the present moment and just simply observing. So well wishes to you guys on your journey. Don't forget who you are in this world. There's, you know, a lot of people that may be telling you to do this, telling you to do that, but it's about listening to yourself, listening what is it that you want and becoming your best, greatest self. So thank you guys. We will catch up with you very soon. As always, be outclined, be yourself, and be getting in some raw food today. Cheers.